Gun Venture is brought to you by Crimson Trace and Double Tap Ammunition. I don't know what you two are waiting for, okay. but I need you to go take your seats in there and I will be there shortly. Oh, all right, great, okay. thanks. We weren't sure where Sorry, we needed to go. Sorry, I was just kidding around, it's just me being funny. For the second scenario, we've given David a lot of options. We've given him a lot more mental training to hopefully make him successful in this scenario. Uh, we'll see, does he barricade the door? Does he set up an ambush? Or does he just take everybody into the back corner and put everybody behind him? These are all great options, but hey, you never know how things are gonna work out. One, one person we're missing right now, but when he shows up, you know what happens to people that come late, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, they get to sit in the very front row, in the very <laughs> front row. So uh, <clears throat> we'll get started. Let's start everybody off by making sure that your phones are turned off. Make sure they're set to, to stun. Thanks, I'm glad you could make it. Is this, uh, is this, am I in the right place? What are you here for? Is it English? Yeah, this is English. Same thing, have a seat. <laughs> Same thing, only different. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Appreciate you coming. I'm just having some fun with you. You know, I like to have fun. Boy, you think they'd bang out these erasers once in a while. They, uh, they're really not that good. I'd like to start off with the theory of, of all things, the theory of marketing. Because that, yes, sir. Is this going to be on the test? You have to, you have to imagine that everything could potentially be on the test, okay? If you think it sounds important, <laughs> if you think. But how am I supposed to know what sounds <laughs> You're funny. You're funny. It's a good thing I know you otherwise. Uh -oh. What? Oh, what is that? Everybody move the corner. Move the corner. Michelle, take the car. Take it all the corner. Do what? Do what? Oh, go to the corner. Go to the corner now. Go to the corner. Call 911. Okay, do what he says. Go on, guys. Go now, now. You heard him. Where's the teacher? That him? All right, index, index, index. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> I gotta, t <laughs> you tell me what was going on in your mind, because that was scary. Well, as soon as he fell, I was looking for a weapon on him, he must have fallen on top of it. Because okay. I saw it in his hands with why I shot. Because what happened long before that, though? There was a lot going on. You oh. started off, you gave good verbal commands. Tell me where we went from there. Yeah, at that point, um, I wanted to identify Michelle as being in charge once I moved out of my seat. Okay. So I told her to get, gather everybody up, and I always made sure, like, look back and make sure she was doing that, which she was. I then pied around here, barricaded, because I want to make sure, to your advice. I'm going to stop you right there before you go into the barricade, because sure. I want to tell you that. I thought your situational awareness, based on you getting up, looking around and noticing not everybody was moving fast enough, and you stopping and saying, get in that back corner, get in that back corner was good. When the door closed on me, after I opened it, I thought, okay, the threat's still there. I'm gonna back out and maintain my position. 
So I thought that was really good. And I give Barrett credit for that because when he shut that door on you, it gave you an opportunity to reset and take cover. Because if he had not pushed that door closed and you had started to search. I'm sure he was right there. Yeah, he would have been right there and yeah. there would have been a, an yeah. ugly gunfight. Yeah. But you did a good job because you acted on the cues. You threw the door open and you came around just enough and it shut. Mm -hmm. And you said, okay, that's it. I'm good, I'm backing out. So what do you take away from this entire situation today? My biggest takeaway is that in a situation like this, there's more than just using your gun. When I walk into a room from now on, I'm gonna look at those situations and say, if, if something happens, what do I have to use to my advantage to stop something from happening? And I can tell you this, that as an armed citizen out and about in our country, that's exactly what you should be thinking every time you go somewhere.